In this video, I'm going to talk about creating and using local variables within Home Remote. To create a local variable, we're going to start on Devices, and we're going to create a new device. This device is actually going to be called a virtual device, which is basically just a blank slate that we can use. We're going to confirm the pop-up boxes there, and we're going to create a new variable within virtual device. We're just going to call this variable name uh, input select. It's also a good idea to start it off with the word variable so that we know what uh, type it is. We're not going to put a default value or any actions behind it. Uh, we're basically just creating a empty box of where to store information from. So from our previous lesson where we had uh, displayed the information of a variable that was being stored externally, in that case the volume level was being stored within the Onkyo. This time we're going to store the variable on our device itself and or within the runtime when we run it here on the de uh, designer. So to have a place to show the variable, I'm just going to create a quick uh, label again, uh, kind of out of the way just for this test. We'll put it down here a uh, little ways. And I'm going to set the text uh, variable to that variable that we just made. So now we have a label that's linked to that blank box that we created before. And just as a placeholder for text so we don't lose it, we'll put the word placeholder. So now if we go into the runtime, now that we're in the runtime, we can see that the placeholder label is still here with the word placeholder. And that's because there's no data being held in that empty bucket variable that we created at the beginning of the video. So in order to put some data there, we're going to use these uh, input commands we've got going here at the top. We've already got scripts created for Amazon and for Kodi. So we're just going to go and add to those, and we're going to reference this variable that we had just created. We'll start on this Hello World ex uh, example that we created. And this time, we're going to choose the set variable value again. Now, this isn't an actual variable that we're sending to a device. So this time, I do want to actually uh, put some information into that empty box. So when we create the parentheses, it's going to pop up. Here's our variable that we created. This time after the comma and in the quotation marks, we're actually going to put the information that we want to pass in. This time I'm just going to pass in the word Amazon because that's the button that's involved here. And a semicolon to end it. So now when we click this button, it's going to change the variable to the word Amazon and this label which is also pointing at that variable should also change to the word Amazon. Let's test it out and you can see that works. So now we'll do the same thing for the Cody button. Again at the end of the script And now that we've got both commands at the end, we can change that placeholder label to either Amazon or to Cody. And it's going to take it a second for the Cody command to go because, again, that command has all those delays built in for the inputs to work on the TV. So here you can see that the label did eventually change to Cody. So now that we've been introduced into local variables, I hope you can see the vast amount of options that are available to you now within the JavaScript using the set variable and get variable options, we can create all types of variables to keep track of different statuses. Uh, soon we'll be integrating them into uh, the controls themselves and how they're displayed. And we'll be able to uh, reference those variables from different parts of the remote. We'll see you in the next one.